for the rich citizens. And our best architect is Antonio Gaudi, because he just finished the house Casa Botio. Take a look at your right hand side, ladies and gentlemen. This was the first work done by Antonio Gaudi, elected as a World Heritage Site. This is already a World Heritage Site since 1985. It's an exceptional construction. Why exceptional? Because, in fact, we are talking from the first skyscraper all over the world. It's because of that that it's so exceptional. Okay, Peter Santo Rose, no problem, my dear. Okay, a week, I will make a deal with Antonio Gaudi. Peter Mila, he bought a plot on this corner over here, and then he made a deal with Antonio Gaudi. Antonio Gaudi started in the month of November 1906 with his last private work also important. And he was occupied here during four years. You just saw that wonderful undulated facade. I'm going to show you it again because we will drive around it, okay? That wonderful undulated facade represents in fact the waves from the Mediterranean Sea. It's all constructed in natural stone. 5,600 different blocks of stone for that facade. A facade standing alone. Our young pretty lady, she wanted to live in the biggest house of the city. Antonio Gaudi really constructed the biggest house of the city and on the main floor, the noble floor, the biggest apartment of our city. Barcelona is a dense city, lots of people living on a small neighborhood. Most of the locals are living in small apartments. I'm living in an apartment with my wife of only 45 square meter. That's enough. 45 square meter per 15 or 450, a little bit more than a 650 square feet. Okay, do I have an idea? 650 square feet more or less. Over there we have a little dining room. We have two small bedrooms, a bathroom and a kitchen. Okay, that's enough for two people. Over here, ladies and gentlemen, only the living room was 10 times bigger than our apartment. Okay, 450 square meter, just for the living room. The whole apartment was 1,338 square meter. That means uh, almost 18,000 square feet, okay? During the construction of this house, four years, that Antonio Gaudi needed. For sure, the local people have been talking a lot about it. What's our crazy architect doing now? Is he occupied with the reconstruction of our holy mountain for Montserrat? Or is he occupied with the construction of a garage for you folks? And all kind of talking. And I suppose that that young, long, young lady was not happy with all that talking. 910. The construction is almost finished. This young pretty lady comes for an inspection together with Antonio Gaudi. And after her inspection, she says, she says, she says to Antonio Gaudi, Anthony, esho no me gana gens ni mica. Esho es una merda. Antonio Gaudi only spoke Catalan language, okay? He never spoke any other language. He entered twice in jail because he refused to speak the Castilian language with the police force. Look over here. Here at your right hand side. The side entrance for the winter departments on the second, third and fourth floor. And here on the corner, in the Paseo de Gracia, here at our right on the corner, the only entrance just for Peter and his wife. And the first sub garage over here, over here Peter entered on this corner with his Rolls Royce. He had already one of the first Rolls Royces that we ever had, okay? But, I have to translate rather Jens Nimica. Antonio, I don't like that at all. It looks horrible. I won't pay you for such a horrible job. That's what that lady said to Antonio Gaudi. Antonio had a serious problem. If you take a look at your left hand side, back, yeah? Look back to you. Look at the roof, please. Over there you can find Darth Vader. And the soldiers from Star Wars. You see them? They were invented by Antonio Gaudi, not by George Lucas. 
George Lucas was over here in 1974. He found his inspiration with Darth Vader on this roof. The chimneys and stairwells made by Antonio Gaudi. So the top with 36 chimneys and six stairwells and two big ventilation towers, all that inspiration came from the mountain that surrounds our city. Antonio Gaudi created the nature from Barcelona in this house. But yeah, now Antonio had a problem. This lady didn't want to pay him. And Antonio Gaudi had to pay all his construction workers and everything, and all the materials. So that was a serious problem. He went to a judge. It took the judge four years before he took his decision in favor of Antonio Gaudi. At the end, Peter Milan had to pay everything. And for sure, this couple, they never had children. They lived long and happily in this wonderful, enormous, very big apartment. She died over there as the last. Peter died the first, and she died the last one. Later on, it was bought by the first bank of Catalonia, and then later on it was elected as a World Heritage Site. How was it possible the construction of such a big apartment? New techniques in architecture. It's because of that that Antonio Gaudi is so famous as an architect. He introduced new things in architecture. This was the first construction only on pillars and with metal beams. The walls didn't have to take any weight, okay? That's the difference, okay? That's the difference. Nowadays, all the skyscrapers are constructed like that. In fact, we are talking from the first skyscraper. It's for that, okay? But after this experience, Antonio Gaudi decided for not ever working again for that rich middle classes in our city. It was his last private work. From that moment on, Antonio Gaudi was occupied only in his main job, the Holy Family Church. And the last year of his life, when he was already 74 years old, he lived and worked in the workshop from his Holy Family Church. Antonio Gaudi was a genius, was a real Catalan nationalist. Uh, he only spoke, used the Catalan language. He refused to speak the Castilian language. He would be happy now with everything that's happening over here in Catalonia now, now that more or less a 50% from the Catalans would like to become independent, okay? So he would love that, I think so. And a third of it, he was a very religious person, Antonio Gaudi. He was like a Benedictine monk, okay? He never had time for, uh, for ladies. He was only working, working and praying, huh? Ora et labora. When he was living in the Holy Family Church and working, every day when he finished his work in the late afternoon, he went to the old city center to pray. He did that on the 7th of June, but on his way back, he was knocked down by a tramway. Three days after that, he died. He died on the 10th of June, 1926. So now you know why we finish everything on the 10th of June, 2026. At your right hand side, that wonderful construction again. Look at that facade also. You can see the bones of the human skeleton. You can see the skulls on the balconies. You can see that wonderful multicolored facade, facade, only with small little pieces of ceramics. He bought only the old stones, the old tails that you couldn't use for the construction. He ordered these construction workers to cut everything in small pieces and then to make a new collection. Here at your right hand side, that's also a wonderful, beautiful house in Catalan Art Nouveau, Pucci Canaval, also a beautiful construction. So decided for that Casa Batio to give it the first of art as the best construction. Now the house since 1978 belongs to the family Bernat. The family Bernat is a rich family of industrials over here from Catalonia. They, are, they were already very rich, but now they are very lucky that since 2005 it's a World Heritage Site. Because the family Bernat, they were the creators from the first lollipops. Chupa Chups. The design from Chupa Chups is from Salvador Dali, another crazy Catalan, okay? But we don't love him in Catalonia, Antonio Gaudi, not at all. Uh, uh, Salvador Dali, we don't like him. Not at all. Why? 
Why we don't love him? He was the best friend from Franco. We name him always Mr. Dollar. He loved money and power. Salvador Dali, he, he was the only official artist from the dictature from Franco. The other main artists like Joan Miro, Bob Spain, they never could come back. Huh? Okay, so the Chupa Chups family, huh? they invented the lollipops, the family Bernard. So now every time when they're somewhere on the world, somebody eating, licking on the lollipop, huh? They receive some money for that. They have still that pattern, so they were already very rich. Now they became much richer. It's the most expensive monument of Antonio Gaudi to visit. You have to pay an entrance fee of 28 euros already. 28 euros. Think about last year they received 1,350,000 visitors inside. Millionaire business, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, we are lucky. It's almost not raining anymore. Huh? Ladies and gentlemen, the question. Sergio asked me if you feel better now. Air conditioning is on? Okay, good, great. Now, within five minutes, we start with a short walk. Only 10 minutes, maximum 15 minutes. I don't run, huh? I do everything slowly, okay? It's because of that that Spanish people live longer than all the other Europeans, huh? If it's not today, it's mañana. You know that word? Yeah. Mañana? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so take it easy, huh? So we walk in the middle of the main shopping street of Barcelona until the cathedral, until the Roman city. We hold on in front of the Roman wall. Inside the Roman wall, we have our cathedral. Over there, I give you three quarters of free time. Those who will love it, they can walk into the cathedral. So my meeting point will be in front of the cathedral. And later on, we have another 20 minutes walk in the middle of the Roman city, where I show you the King's Palace and the real center of our city, the political center, with the city, with the city uh, town hall, with uh, the palace of the Generalitat, the Catalan government, and all that kind of things. Okay. And then our driver, Sergio, he will pick us up again at the old harbor. So that means I just walk straight in the middle of that old city, of that Roman city, the oldest part. The oldest part that is still the center of our city. The city was created in 217 BC. Think about it, quite easy. The year before 218 BC, Hannibal, Hannibal, the man with the elephants, was beaten in the Alps by the Romans. That was the Second Punic War. The family name from Hannibal, listen, Barca. Barca, not Barca. Barca is football club Barcelona, okay? Barca. Once they won the Carthaginians, uh, the Romans, then they took their sailing ships. And that was the first time they arrived on the Iberian Peninsula. Over here, we have a natural delta, so a natural harbor. The Romans arrived here with their sailing ships on our beaches, and they founded a colony named Barca, B-A-R-C-A, -A, named to their first enemy, okay, the Carthaginian. Later on, that name Barca changed into Barcino, later on during the time from the barbers, the 5th century, the rest goes into Barcelonia. And then since the medieval time, it's named Barcelona. And the Romans created the perfect Roman city, constructed in a quarter with only four entrance gates and two main streets, Decomanos and Maximo Cardos. Okay? I will take the main street, the Decomanos part of it, okay? It's still one of the main streets in our old medieval city. A lot of manifestation, it's every day that we have manifestation, but also the doctors, huh? doctors and nurses. Huh? It's a pity in, ours, in Spain, all over Spain, due to the international financial crisis from 10 years ago. Thank you, 
it's a pity that our young students who finish the, the university, but like Kogher, Pokemir, Yabes, Okabasa. Ladies and gentlemen, look how our city council organized tourism. There are only three places for cultures. All the rest, they have to wait until you can go out. Take a look at your right, the Ramblas. This is the Ramblas. Almost empty at this time of the day. Nobody there. You can see it. The Ramblas from here until Christopher Columbus, a little bit more than half a mile. This is our Catalonian square. It's a little Spanish. I think it's a, well, it's a little municipal Spanish park. Passage Colomb. Passage Colomb. ¿Tú ya lo sabes lo que tiene que hacer? No. Me parece que de momento nada. Todavía tengo que ir hasta la E. Todavía hay de... Today, the Viking Sun is also in our harbor at our right, the famous Ramblas. So, if you ever come back in Barcelona, please try to do a walk on our Ramblas. Also, I can also recommend you a visit inside here at our right hand side. That's also very interesting. It's our maritime museum, it says 800 years of history. This building it was in the early Gothic time, so it was a production between Romanesque and Gothic. Huh? It was constructed at the change between the two different architectural styles. This was the main, these were the main shipyards all over Catalonia and later all over Spain. Okay, this was in use as a shipyard until the end of the 19th century. So lots of ships that later on went to America, they were constructed here. And at that time we had the water here where we are driving, okay? Ships were finished in it and then they left them out immediately in the water. In front of us that mountain, Mont Jui, Mountain of the Jewish. 173, 173 meter tall, because of that our Basilica, minor basilica, Sagrada Familia will be 172 and a half. Here are the palms, and look behind the palm trees, you can see the beautiful trees that here at our right now with flowers, and they gave those trees a beautiful name. I love that. In Castilian language, what you know as a Spanish language, Palo Borracho. Somebody speak Spanish? Palo Borracho? Borracho? No? Drunken trees. <laughs> they look like bottles. In fact, there are tropical trees, they come from Brazil. But over here, beside the coastline, we never have temperatures below zero, so they can stand this climate. No, 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 no. 
Iron Tower. This award constructed for the second World Fair organized in this city in 1929. But what happened? 1929 was the first crash of Wall Street. And though he didn't have money, it wasn't finished in time. They opened it in 1930. So it was not finished for 1929. And they took the example from the Eiffel Tower in Paris, in fact, for the construction of this tower, together with another tower for that wow, wonderful touristic attraction that's still in use. It's a cable car, but you first have to go until the beaches, on the beach. We have that second tower over there with an elevator. You go on top, there you take a gondola, and that brings you until this mountain beside us. The mountain of the Jewish, only here for the leisure time. Nobody lives on that mountain. Also to recommend, if you come back in our city, at least a visit on that mountain. There are lots of different things to see. The main museum from Joan Miro, beautiful theaters, others, the main museum of Catalan art, all the installations for 1929, also for 1992. Olympic Stadium, Olympic Sports Palace, and basically green parks and botanic gardens. A green lung beside the old city center. From here you see the Spanish police forces, only here, because the harbor belongs to Spain and not to Catalonia. So you can see them here at your right hand side with their guns and everything to protect our harbor. <coughs> Now we take this bridge, the only way to the main cruise harbor of Europe. And I hope just one thing, that it don't open now, because then we still have one other hour. But I can't see any other big ship arriving now.